At 3 a.m., I woke up in a panic. Why? I felt like I was drowning, like I was suffocating beneath the weight of all of my circumstances. And who wouldn't? Over the last few weeks, I felt like I've been starring in some sort of bad version of a Lifetime movie because every single one of my worst fears have come true. Just think about that for a minute. What are the circumstances or events that keep you up at night at just the mere thought of them happening? I'm talking about life altering events like losing a parent or the death of a spouse or a sibling. Or what if your child was raped or molested or even kidnapped? Or what if you were involved in an accident that left you maimed or handicapped in some way? Or what about just losing your only source of income or losing your home in foreclosure? Yeah, see, that's the type of nightmares I'm talking about. Yeah, see, I'm not talking about the type of nightmares that involve Jason breaking into your bedroom with a machete. I mean, even though those type of nightmares can seem really scary and feel really real, in the end, you know that Jason is just a man and it's just a movie. And even in the movies, he always seems to get off at the end anyway. No, I'm talking about the type of fears that I'm dealing with right now. But the kind of fears that I'm dealing with right now seem so big and so scary that they feel like they're larger than life. They, they feel like they're insurmountable. The type of fears that I'm dealing with right now, they are just tearing me apart because I feel like I'm being consumed by my fears. And for the hours between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., I just lay there in my bed, just sweating. I felt like my heart was just pounding in my chest. I had tears just streaming down my face. And I felt like those fears were so big and so powerful. They were more powerful than anything else in my life, even God. At that moment, I had made my fears my God. But then I sat up straight in my bed and I literally slapped myself in the face. And I was like, Sherry, what are you doing? Have you forgotten who you are and whose you are? You are God's beloved daughter. And he alone is responsible for your provision, for your protection, and for your welfare. Sherry, have you already forgotten all those promises that God has made to you for healing and for restoration and for strength? Or what about all the times that he's provided for you when he's like provided you with a job and, and created a position where no position even existed at that company? Or what about all the random checks that have come in the mail or random people just coming up to you and giving you money for bills when you didn't have the money? Or what about all the times you know that you did something wrong and you should have been busted for it, but he got you out of the trouble anyway. And it was at that moment that I realized that I had chosen to worship my problems by allowing myself to worry about them so much that they had become greater than my God. I was magnifying my problems and my circumstances instead of magnifying my God and magnifying his word and his promises and all the times that he's already proven to be God for me in my life. So here's what I did. Now, I don't claim to be a pastor or a saint or anything like that, but all I can do is tell you what worked for me and what has worked for me every other time that I've had sense enough to actually try it. So first and foremost, I prayed because I remembered that I had fallen asleep that night without saying my evening prayers. And whenever that happens, I have a really restless night because I haven't gone to sleep and protected my mind. See, a long time ago, I had this really long period of anxiety induced insomnia. And what I learned from that period was how important it was to protect my mind before I go to bed especially my subconscious mind because when you lie down and go to sleep that's when your subconscious mind goes into play and that's when your subconscious mind starts to affect you through your dreams so as a result what i've learned to do is to before i go to bed protect my mind by putting on the whole armor of god now that's something i do before i leave the house every day and before i go to bed at night and one of those parts of my armor is the helmet of salvation the helmet of salvation protects my mind and especially that part my subconscious mind before i go to bed because 
most of us are so tired when we uh, in our day we're just exhausted that as soon as we hit the bed we just pass out and go to sleep and then the enemy takes that as an opportunity to feed on our fears and our anxiety and all of our stress and he attacks us many times through our dreams and a lot of times that's where your anxiety and sometimes insomnia can come into play the other part of the armor of God that I chose in my arsenal of weapons was the sword of the spirit now the sword of the spirit is just the word of God and during my time when I was praying I asked God to lead me to a scripture that would help me in this time that I was going through to strengthen me and to give me my confidence back and what I did was open the Bible and I was led to Psalms 40 but if I had to choose one part of the entire psalm I would say Psalms 41 through 5 because of course I can't get into the entire psalm it was just too long and really it was too rich for me to just um, break it all up and talk about it at this one time but that reminded me that the importance of choosing to take my problems my circumstances and my fears and just drop them at the feet of God and then wait for him to handle them now the chapter goes on to tell you that there are so many benefits when you actually allow yourself to do just that there's so many benefits that happen to you and in fact there are just too many for me to mention but a few of those that really just just came out and were highlighted for me was pulling you up and lifting you up out of your despair giving you back your joy your peace uh, provision stability guidance strength and a new path of direction and the last thing that I got from that psalm that it reminded me of is that God intends to use our test and our trials he wants us to use those things as our testimony and I know that even though right now it seems like my circumstances are exactly the same as before I started praying and before I started to read the word I just remember now I have confidence now that God is there for me and he's behind the scenes working on my behalf and I know that one day soon I'll get to come back to you guys and to tell you of all the wonderful things that God has done for me and how he's helped me through this these horrible events and this really trying time that I'm going through in my life so Hope you guys come back and join me and get a chance to hear about it on my channel next time on Sherry Unshrunken. Hope I'll see you then, guys. So thanks for sharing this spiritual snack with me. I know I needed it and hopefully you needed it too. See you next time on Sherry Unshrunken. Bye.